You right out there on the front lines? Well, there were a couple of us. I was the field secretary. It was my job to record everything. You wouldn't happen to still have those notes, would you? I got grits on the stove. I better go check on them. Mrs. Lee, please help me. Mr. Jackson was such a great man. I do so want to do him justice. Oh, it's been so long. I, I don't even believe I could find them. Well, tell me about your family. Were they afraid for you? Well, at that time, I was single. So the people in the civil rights movement became my family. Were you afraid? We were all afraid. Mr. Jackson, he was afraid? I mean, surely he must have wanted to just give up sometimes. Oh, 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 no. Not James. Never. And he wouldn't let us give up either. He was the strongest man I ever knew. We'd be facing down dogs and fire hoses scared to death. He'd get real quiet. His face would soften. Then his calm would spread over us, too. Were you in love with him? Turn that off, please. Sing along with words on the screen. No, Collier, I'm not singing. Hey, Collier. Hey, Joy. Yeah, looking for a little joy in your life? Come on, Mary Elizabeth. Maybe you could sing. Joy to the world. <laughs> I think you're overreacting. I don't think so. She's brought me the wrong drink again. I think she's doing this on purpose. Excuse me. You just seem to have a habit of bringing me the wrong drink. Maybe I should just order the wrong drink in the hopes that somehow you'll bring me the right drink. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's just start over again. Now, I ordered a scotch on the rocks. Do you think you could manage that? No problem. Well, good luck. She just made a simple mistake. I think you've got a crab in your craw. You know, everybody's the damn joyous around here. I believe I'll just get my own drink. Hi. Let me guess. Another fruit juice and brake fluid. Emmy? Hey, it's about time. I am beat. I just finished my speech. Vodka martini to all of us, please. So how's the bio coming? Did you find a lot of great stuff? Oh, a ton of it. Sir. Great interviews. You'll have to listen to some of them. I can't wait. Is it going to be finished tomorrow? Uh, sure. Why don't you come by in the morning? Take a look. So, where's Mr. Wright? That must be me. And you must be Renee. Yeah. Hi. I'm Greg Mingo. Mary Elizabeth tells me that you're quite the gourmet cook. I have my dishes. I hear you make a slamming souffle. I haven't made one lately. Right now, I'm perfecting my shrimp etouffee. Mm. Oh, um, could you excuse me a minute? Oh, my God. Is this your idea of the right guy for me? He's a baby. You know, I live my life vicariously through you. You've heard the expression, boy toy. You are so bad. Where's Collier? All I got is that stage and about to get himself in a mess of trouble. You can sing, right? Sure. Everybody can sing. Now, we're going to march in silence. But if folks start yelling at us, screaming obscenities, then sing out these words. Hold your head up. Keep the faith. Amen to that. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round, turn me round, turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Gonna turn keep, keep on walking, walking keep, keep on, on walking, talking, marching on the freedom land. That was neat. Who wants to sing the second verse? Me, Daddy, me. Well, baby, I don't think you're gonna be marching with us tomorrow. Why not? But we need you for other things. But what's more important than marching? We'll talk about that later, Renee. 
Opal, why don't you lead off? You have a beautiful voice. Ain't gonna let Bull Connor turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let Bull Connor turn me around. Gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, marching on freedom land. How do you say that in front of all those people? You mean Andy? Now he thinks I'm just a little kid. You are. Come on, let's go back in. At least we can sing today. I'm not going back in there, and you shouldn't either. You can't even hold a tune. See you later, Renee. What is this noise? I can't watch TV. You two are making such a racket. I asked to do quiet, Daddy, just as nice as you please. But she just kept on singing something about a promised land. That is not what I was singing. I said, marching up to freedom land. Freedom land? Where did you learn this song? In the neighborhood. I don't want to hear this song again, Mary Elizabeth. You don't know what the hell you're saying. And I don't want either of you coming down to the store tomorrow. You hear me? Negroes in this town are going crazy. They say there's going to be some kind of big demonstration. Whatever you were singing, it sounded pitiful. Oh, so that's what's bothering you. Didn't finish your writing assignment. No, I'm done. Tell you the truth, I wish I'd never said I'd do this. Why? Find out that James Jackson copied all the speeches from books. Worse? They like smoke dope, have an affair? Oh, come on, who told you that? His mistress. <sighs> yeah, but how many years ago was it? It was a long time ago. <sighs> Man, you gonna tell Renee? Why would I tell my best friend that? Especially when she thought her daddy walked on water. Good idea. Let sleeping dogs lie. No pun intended. <sighs> Dump the caffeine. Time to get some sleep. Yeah. Hey, Kelly. I came by to pick up the bio your mom wrote. Hey, Renee. Mom's driving carpool, but you can go get it. She left it at our desk. Cool scarf. Thanks. Don't be late for school. I left myself out. Well, it didn't take much. He could inspire anyone. <laughs> then his calm would spread over us, too. So what's the answer? She said she was in love with him. And did she say that... that he was in love with her? I think... she thinks that he was. You're saying that they were lovers? <laughs> 